What's good, YouTube? Shout out to the Rich Crew. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for checking out the channel. For everybody that's new, thank you for stopping by now. Today's video will be related to financial tips. We'll be creating a personal budget on using the numbers app on the um, MacBook Pro. Uh, usually my channel, I've been doing car content with the BMW M2. Uh, I've been doing sneaker reviews and things like that. Uh, a few book reviews in the past, kind of a little bit of vlogging. But the premise of my channel, of course, based off the title, Rituals. Rituals is a term that I coined. It basically means the daily practice of building wealth. And that's what this channel really is about. So, but I haven't been doing much about financial videos at all. So this is the first one. We're gonna get into it, we're gonna dive into it. We're gonna keep this one simple. We're just gonna build a personal budget. Some people never built one, believe it or not. So I'm just gonna kinda of walk you guys through how to do it on a computer. You can also use this app, which is called Numbers, on your Apple iPhone. You can use it on your Apple iPad. And if you don't have a Apple product, you can do this on a other computer too, like a PC or anything. Everybody has a different form version of spreadsheets. Microsoft uses Excel. I'm not sure what Google Chromecast uses or whatnot, but I know everybody has their own version of spreadsheets. And that's what we're gonna to use today. I prefer using numbers because numbers already have the equations built in. You just plug the numbers in and it does all the addition and subtractions for you. So I'm gonna walk you guys through building a personal budget by using some of the US median numbers as far as like rent, auto insurance, car payments, and then we're gonna use just some generic numbers for everything else. With that being said, let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna do more and more videos on financial tips and advice, and we're gonna do more and more book reviews on financial books, personal finance. Also, you can get this book by clicking the link below in the description. This is Dave Ramsey. This is a great book, The Total Money Makeover. This book, if you follow the tips and tricks, it will help you get out of debt. Very good advice in this book. So we'll be going over this in detail in the future. But right now, let's get to building this per personal monthly budget by using the Numbers app on Apple products. All right, so let's get to it. We're just gonna, um, this is the Numbers app on the MacBook Pro. Like I said, you can find this app on the Apple iPhone as well as the Apple iPad. Um, if you're using Microsoft or PC, um, it'd be Microsoft Excel, um, but their program's different. I prefer using Apple products, so that's why I'm using numbers. So let's get to it. Um, we're gonna use a simple budget. That's what we're gonna do today. As you see, they have different templates for different things, personal budget, personal savings, stocks. We'll be going over that in other videos and stuff, network, uh, mortgage calculators, like how to pay off the mortgage quicker, those calculations. We'll be, I'll be making some videos on that later. But today, we're just going to focus on a simple budget, how to create a budget using the Numbers app. So we'll click on it. We open it up. And uh, I'm going to use generic numbers, like I said before. So uh, my basis of this video, like I said, in order to build wealth, you first need to know what money is coming in and what money is coming out. So this is the percentages, like a pie chart basically, and it's the percentages. As you see, they have um, very basic stuff here, like your house for its rent, mortgage, tax, insurance, how much you're spending groceries, transportation, utilities, dining, traveling, education. That's like if you had college loans or whatnot. And um, this is like your paycheck and if you have additional income. So. Today, I'm going to use very um, generic numbers that's based off the medians of the United States. If you live somewhere else, you can check out medians there. But if you're building this budget, this should be based off of your income, your paycheck, your net pay, um, not the gross, but the net, because you don't see the gross, of course. You only see the net was taken home after taxes. So let's get started. The average income and the median income for U.S. households um, for 2019 is $63,179. Um, basically, using a calculator, kind of broke broke down the actual take-home pay. Well, it's actually an estimate, so let's just do an estimate. The estimated take-home pay will be roughly 
and one dollars so we're gonna round this up to basically three thousand nine hundred and two dollars we're not gonna mess with additional income we're gonna keep this very simple uh, the average I didn't look up the average rent but you know what I can do that one second Right, so the average rent in the United States is basically eleven $1 hundred and eighty dollars. So we're gonna use that number. I'm not gonna do the average uh, mortgage because because those numbers will probably be inflated. Um, so I'll just go with the average rent because there's more renters out there now than homeowners. So let's just do that. <clears throat> Groceries, I'm just gonna do roughly let's say like three hundred dollars. Just play with the numbers. Transportation. I'm going to consider that being like an auto loan. The average auto loan for a new car is $554. The average auto loan for a used car is $391. So we're going to do a median of the two. So we're just going to say that's $473. Utilities, we're going to keep that the same. That's electric and all that stuff. Electric, gas, water. We're just going to keep that at $200. Dying and travel, like I said, that's based off your personal needs. Um, you will be putting that in. Same with utilities. Uh, utilities could be different for you depending on where you live. All these numbers can be different. We're just plugging and playing numbers just so you can kind of get a gist of what a budget looks like and how to create one on the, the numbers app. Um, so dining, we'll keep that 150. Education, if you had any college loans or whatever. Um, We'll just keep it, actually just make it a little bit more. Let's up it up just a little bit. Because college loans, I don't know the average college loans payment, but I don't know if it's $100. It's probably more than $100. So we'll just do 250 So if you have a car, it's one thing they didn't have in here is I guess it's like auto insurance. Because if you have a car, you definitely got to have auto insurance. So with that being said, you can always add a row. Like you click this little arrow here, you can add a row above or below. We're gonna add one below, and then we're gonna just title it auto insurance. And then hit the tab button. And then uh, in that category, the, uh, the actually the average auto insurance in the United States is $126. So, the, and then you know, a lot of people, in the US, of course, they have cable television. Are they even, are they cut the cords? So let's throw in some like little things. Like, I know you can put that in like entertainment, but this is just add some stuff just in case. Let's see, we'll do one below. Let's put like, you can put like Netflix. Netflix, I think, you, it's an X. Netflix is usually like, what, $15 now? So put that in there. And then like, Let's just add one for cable. Just to kind of give people some of a realistic idea of how to build this spreadsheet. So I use YouTube TV, let's go with that. You may use, it's all kinds of different cable providers and whatnot, but I'll just use mine. YouTube TV is roughly like $55. So you have these type of things and then Let's say if you want to have like, if you had additional income, you would put it up here at the top, of course. Like if you had multiple streams of income, which I recommend for everybody, that's the perfect way to build wealth is having multiple streams of income. But this is basically just the basis. This is how you would do it. You have your, your take home pay, not your gross, but your actual take home, the net pay. This is after taxes, after deductions what you actually receive in your bank account. And then you put all your expenses, this is the money out. Of course, like I said, you put your paycheck in the money in section, and then you put everything that's coming out uh, monthly on your money out section. That's housing, that's like your rent, mortgage, whatever you had to pay. Groceries for yourself, transportation to get back and forth to work. Um, you can even put like gasoline, stuff like that in there if you had to commute every day. I just give an example of that too. So it was like if you had to commute, you say, "Oh, it costs me a certain amount to commute per month." 
So spell gasoline incorrectly, but there we go. You say eh, maybe like two hundred dollars a month, depending on how you commute. So yeah, so this is basically how you create a budget on a spreadsheet in the numbers app on uh, Apple products that whether it be Apple iPhone, Apple iPad, or the MacBook. But that's how you do it. And if this person was bringing in $3,902 a month, their total expenses would be $2,949, which would leave them over every month $953, which would be pretty good. Of course, you should be saving a portion of that and investing in, the, um, in some stock markets here or just investing, period. Maybe into something else, maybe into real estate or just whatever your interests are. But I'll make videos on that in the future, like stash and uh, uh, some things like that. But uh, yeah, this is just a short video of how to create a budget. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be making more videos like this. Um, like I said before, we'll be doing some book reviews here. Um, he has some very good stuff in this book about how to get out of debt and how to manage your money. So we'll be going over some of those tips. And uh, if you're interested in buying that book, I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, once again, thank you guys for tuning in. Y'all have a great day. And that's how you create a personal budget.